Hi everybody and welcome back to McNulty's Book Corral. Thank you for checking in. Today we're going to talk about one little book here. Well, it's not little, it's actually kind of a medium-sized book. It is Assassin by Sean Hudson. And this is the Caffeine Nights uh, books reprint. Um, Sean Hudson is a, a UK writer. He's a great writer of horror. I could do a whole episode on him. I think I will probably uh, do more coming up to Halloween, I think. I, I don't have that many of his original books. I'm really envious of um, some of you booktubers out there who do. Uh, I know I've seen a few of you uh, pull his vintage paperbacks out from the UK. I love I love UK books, you know, um, when it comes to collecting um, books by the, by the uh, United Kingdom authors, uh, the UK editions are always the better editions. This is true of... Um, you know, those early vintage paperbacks of Sean Hudson. This is a nice edition, by the way. I'm not knocking them. Um, but those paperbacks had great, great creepy covers. Yeah, Guy Smith and Sean Hudson and all that. You know, a lot of fun to collect those. Not quite easy to get here. You have to go on eBay and find them. I have a couple. And I have a couple of hardcovers. So I'll come back to Sean Hudson uh, later. But Assassin is one of his early books. It's a really weird book, okay? Um it has multiple storylines going, and it has this weird supernatural uh, backstory to it that's never explained, which is what happened to these people who are possessed by weird things. I, I, I don't even know how to describe it, okay? They're just creepy. And uh, there's a, a subplot involving that. Then the, 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 the main plot of the book is about these gangsters that are at war, but it also involves this weird, creepy group of people that have like bugs inside of them or I don't I don't know I don't know or, or an evil force of some type uh, I don't I just don't get it um and I'm not saying that's a flaw in the book I don't think it was intended to be fully explained it's just pure pulp horror and it's fun um so th uh, it's a good book I do like the new edition uh I have a couple of the caffeine nights I do have like I said a couple of the uh originals I have a couple of first edition hardcovers too not many so i'm going to come back to him but if you're if you're not familiar here in the united states with sean hudson start with assassin i think this is easy to get on amazon because caffeine nights has their books available and they've been reprinting a lot of his stuff i really like this book it's bloody if you don't like bloody stuff don't buy it this is this is horror fiction i right, take a look at the cover there you go so you can see this is going to scare you so <laughs> No, and that's okay. Read it at Halloween at midnight. <laughs> uh, I'm so cruel. I, is it, you know, I'm telling you, read read Assassin by Sean Hudson at midnight on Halloween. That'll scare the <laughs> right out of you. Uh, anyway, uh, my <laughs> my pick of the day. We have a lot of fun here, by the way. There's a lot going on here at McNulty's Book Corral. Um, off camera and behind the scenes that you don't know about and it's probably a good thing so in the meantime be sure to check out sean hudson's assassin stay well stay happy feed your brain and read a book